welcome to this week's newscast from PEI. I'm Kelvin Ross. The headlines this week. Solar sector revenue is forecast to hit $137 billion by 2020. Alstom wins a major deal for 127 wind turbines in Brazil. Europe's most polluting coal plants are named and shamed. And wind power is now the cheapest form of electricity in Denmark. A new report predicts that revenues from the global solar market will more than double in the next five years. The study from Frost & Sullivan forecasts that revenues will rise from $59 billion last year to $137 billion by 2020. The report states that current global demand for solar PV projects is dominated by the Asia Pacific region, which it says will account for around 46% of annual install capacity. The European solar market is also growing as the price of solar PV systems has fallen steeply because of fewer feed-in tariffs and speculations on further subsidy cuts. Germany is the biggest player in the European solar market and together with France, Spain, Italy and the UK it plans to install more than 75 gigawatts of solar PV capacity by 2020. French engineering company Alstom has signed a contract worth around 320 million euros to provide turbines for a wind power complex in Brazil. Alstom will manufacture and commission 127 turbines for the complex, which is operated by Brazilian renewables company Renova Energia. The turbines are set to be delivered in 2017 and, once commissioned, will give the complex a total generating capacity of 335 megawatts. Meanwhile, in the UK, Alstom is pushing ahead with work on Carrington Combined Cycle Gas Plant near Manchester. Alstom will supply two GT26 gas turbines and other key components for the 880 megawatt plant. The company has also been awarded a 12-year service agreement to maintain the equipment. Carrington is halfway through construction and is scheduled for completion by 2016, when it's expected to be capable of providing enough power for around a million homes and be one of the most efficient power stations in Britain. It's been built on the site of a former coal plant and will generate more than three times the amount of electricity of its predecessor, yet will occupy only half the land. A coalition of environmental groups has published a list of what it calls the 30 most polluting coal plants in Europe. According to the report, 18 of Europe's 30 most polluting plants are in Germany and the UK. Germany also emerged as Europe's biggest coal user, with Poland second and the UK third. The report states that while Europe's politicians should be justifiably proud of their record on tackling climate change on the global stage, they must make sure they're not saying one thing and doing another. It blames Europe's rising coal use on both cheap coal prices and the low carbon price of the EU emissions trading scheme. It also highlights that as more renewable energy comes online, ageing coal plants are less likely to be shut down on schedule, as they will be needed for as balancing capacity. The report argues for strict EU emission standards to limit the negative effects these older plants could have on climate change mitigation effects. However, the World Coal Association argues that rather than stricter emissions limits, which Poland maintains would place an undue burden on its economy, Increased use of high-efficiency, low-emission clean coal combustion techniques could help Europe meet its climate targets. The Danish Energy Association has released data showing that wind power has overtaken all other fuel sources as the cheapest new form of electricity in the country. Denmark has long been the world's biggest backer of wind power and the study concludes that new onshore wind plants coming online in 2016 will provide energy for about half the price of coal and natural gas plants. The Danish government is ambitiously targeting a 50% goal for wind power share of total electricity consumption by 2020. By then, the country aims to produce 70% of its energy from renewables, rising to 100% by 2050, with onshore and offshore wind expected to make up most of this capacity. That's all for this week. We'll hope to see you again soon.